Well, I've been talking about things that have returned. Live music has returned. Live theater has returned. I mean, there are so many things that we've all been craving. Well, guess what? Italian Week Ottawa will also be returning to in-person action. I am joined by Lydia DeFrancesco, co-chair of the board of directors. Lydia, <laughs> you and the team uh, and the entire Italian community, uh, you must be so excited to be coming back. Oh my gosh, we are thrilled. It's been two years where we were virtual. Uh, we did have some great programming. We had, we had good turnouts, but I mean, everyone is just looking to be back in person again. And we're so happy that it's uh, working out. <laughs> well, let's look at some, I mean, some of the, you know, you have some, some free things that are going on. And of course, some, some very affordable things that are happening as well. Let's start off with the master classes, because this is really an opportunity to learn from some experts about some Italian culture. What have you got lined up for master classes this time around? Yeah, we were able to get some really great presenters. I'm super excited. So we have three master classes. One is focused on Italian charcuterie. The other one is on Italian wines. And the last one is on uh, focaccia art. So the charcuterie class, we're bringing in a chef. He's award winning. He's from Vancouver. He owns a restaurant there. Okay. Uh, his name is Pino Posteraro. And he is coming to share with us all about charcuterie. And so we're going to learn the different types. So more than, you know, just salami and uh right. you know prosciutto right there's so yeah. much so many other different varieties of uh cured meats and cheeses and he's going to talk us through that uh as well as the various differences between the regions in italy as well okay. uh so that'll be happening then we also have italian wine that one's being hosted by an award-willing sommelier called uh veronique Revest. she's the owner of soif bar a vin in gatineau okay and she's actually won uh, best sommelier of the Americas, and she's come wow. second place at the world's best sommelier competition. So she is going to be talking to us all about Italian wines, again, focusing on different regions, different styles, different ways that they uh, deal with the grapes and process it and all that. And then lastly, I'm sure you've probably seen, well, you know, there was a big um, sourdough craze over the pandemic oh, yes. and a few other bread a few other yeah. bread making crazes. <laughs> uh, one of the things that, that people were doing was making art out of focaccia. So, you know, focaccia bread, it's got the indents. Yeah. And then people use vegetables to create these really pretty scenes. So Rebecca Drent is going to be actually walking us through creating our own uh, masterpiece, I guess, so to speak, um, using uh, vegetables as our art. What a great idea. I love that. You guys, what a great right? job, too. And, and, and the talent that you're bringing in is amazing. You also mm -hmm. have a, a scavenger hunt. Tell me about the scavenger hunt. We do. So we're partnering with Lockdown Ottawa. So they're one of the local companies here that do escape rooms. Last year, we did a scavenger hunt as well, but it was primarily focused on, on in an online element, right? Obviously, we were still heavy into the pandemic and shutdowns and such things. Now that things are wide open, we are going to be having a more in-person element. So people will be encouraged to search out the clues that are on Preston Street and in Little Italy, uh, there will be an online component, but it's going to be a little bit smaller this year. Okay. Um, so we're going to get people out and about walking through the city. It's going to be a lot of fun. And there's over $3,000 worth of prizes. And that prize list is growing every day. Very nice. So I'm going to jump ahead to the grand finale because there are so many things that are happening through that <laughs> grand finale weekend. Uh, walk us through what people can expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's three days of programming. The grand finale weekend is sponsored by the Preston Street BIA. It starts on Friday the 17th, goes till Sunday the 19th. So we have live performances. We have bands like the Jive Wires. We're bringing back opera for the opera lovers. Nice. It's coming back. Um, everyone's really excited about the opera. We're bringing Pellegrini Opera and uh, some opera professionals to do a recital. We've got some DJs. We have comedy acts. So lots of stuff happening on our main stage. We also have... Um, different uh, performances and street animation happening all along the street. So we have uh, artwork that's going to be taking place. We have actual uh, live artists that are going to be stationed all along Preston Street, um, drawing for the two days of Saturday and Sunday. We have a soccer tournament. We have, uh, what else do we have? We have the Ferraris, of course. We of course, the yeah. The Ferrari the, Festival. Uh, Ferrari Ferrari Festival, Ferrari Club of Ottawa, uh, Ferrari Club of America, the Ottawa chapter with their members bringing in their Ferraris. Sunday, the Father's Day, we have uh, the bike races. So there's a lot going on. Basically, that whole weekend, there will be something to do for everybody along Preston Street. 
and it's going to be a really fun time. And I know people are, you know, really itching to get outside. And yeah. I mean, the thing with Italian culture is it's so family and friend oriented that it's been a challenge for us, you know, with the pandemic, not being able to see people in person. So I imagine, imagine there's going to be a lot of hugs and kisses and, <laughs> and people just really joyous, you know, in the streets, welcoming each other, uh, you know, seeing each other again. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, Italians not being able to gather and socialize, uh, it just doesn't make any right? sense in the culture, <laughs> Lydia. Lydia, thanks so much exactly. for joining us. Really appreciate it. Again, a reminder happening June 9th to the 19th, various activities available. There's also children's bedtime stories, outdoor film screenings as well. We'll be back with more right after this.